HDR is a bolt action sniper rifle with very low mobility, high bullet velocity, very high bullet velocity, uh, nice high magnification zoom by default, and that's about it. Low, low handling though. Um, very low, and I think it's the ugliest sniper in the game by a mile. But let's look at attachments. You basically have two things you're looking at. Do you want it suppressed or do not it want? Do not not want not want it. Whew. Pardon. If you have the room for it, breach device is not bad because you get a melee, so secondary is not as much of an issue. Uh, if you want it suppressed, you got two options. Monolithic suppressor if you want to do long range sniping, or lightweight suppressor if you want to do close range sniping. Um, and if you don't want suppressed, breach your device or nothing. The rest of these are totally worthless. One are just right now. There's a lot of attachments for this gun that seem like they're for recoil control. We got muzzle brake, compensator, um, barrels. Several of them are for recoil control. I don't understand it. Um, it's a bold action snap. It's going to one-shot people, so recoil means nothing. But it is what it is. Barrels, you got one option. HDR Pro. Um... Recoil reducer, recoil reducer, damage range, recoil reducer, and bullet velocity. Yeah, it's got a little less recoil reduction than these two, but why would I not just want more range? And it's called the HDR Bolt Pro. Like, bull barrel is kind of nice, but the HDR Pro, 269. Yeah, we're going with the HDR Pro if we're doing sniping, if we're doing quick scoping, forget the barrel. Honestly, forget the HDR if you want a quick scope, but we're going to make a quick scope or class. Laser. Tag laser is fantastic. Unless you're doing ultra long range sniping, in which case, you don't want to be able to track the laser. If you're not, tag laser is fantastic. ADS speed, stability, steadiness, all things you want on a sniper rifle. Optic. Um, two schools of thought. Do you want a quick scope or do you want to do long range sniping? And clearly, they all kind of split up. You got the scout. VOK and Cronin for quick scoping, variable thermal, and the thermal sniper, dual power, and uh, I guess this is more of a quick scoper, but kind of flips half and half. I am partial to the scout and the variable. I think they're the best, but you know, use what you will. Stocks, um, ADS speed. If you're going to quick scope, you use this one. If you're going to do uh, sniping on ground war specifically, use the champion. And if you're doing like lane holding on a semi large game mode, use the FTAX Hunter Scout. Underbarrel bipod. If you're using the sniper on ground war, I'm going to say the bipod's a pretty fantastic addition. Very low sway when you are aiming down the sights and crouched or prone. But if you're doing lane control or quick scoping, forget it. Unless, obviously, you have nothing else unlocked, throw this on there. It's not a negative. Maybe you'll need it at some point. Ammunition. Um, for lane control, this is good. But for true sniping on ground war or for quick scoping, I don't really see the need for them. Perks. Lots of good perks. FMJ. Um, shooting down score streaks, mainly. That's what this is good for. Helicopters. VTOLs. Tanks. This will chunk vehicles badly. Um, recon for longer range sniping, always good to have that nameplate distance, although I think it's a little weaker compared to FMJ. Sled of hand, always good. Didn't fit into any of my builds, but you know, if you want to run it, man, it's a good perk. Fully loaded, if you're not running ammo box, fully loaded is a good option. A focus, very good. This is extremely potent, because flinch is one of the worst problems with snipers. Focus might be the best singular attachment for this gun. Presence of mind, I don't hold my Beth brother a whole lot with sniper rifles. I kind of like hold onto it for a second, pull the trigger, and then let go. But you know, if you're a big fan of using um, holding breath, go crazy. Mo money, it's leveled up faster. You know, go crazy. I'm not a fan of it, but go crazy. And then fast melee. It's fast melee. If you want fast melee, it's there. So classes. First, we're going to do the meme one. Get it out of the way. Uh, this is the slowest ADS time I can find in this game. It's got the uh, Thermal Dual Power, FTAC Champion, HDR Pro, Monolith Expressor, and 9 Round Mags. Secondary Joker, because it's fucking hilarious. And the whole, <laughs> this is like, make this class as unusable as possible. And then we have EOD Restock and Shrapnel, so we can spam C4 like Tic Tacs, so we don't actually, actually have to use those. Um, I made this class to mess around in custom games with friends. It's always fun to just get a bunch, I play against PC players a lot, and just kind of goof around with this kind of stuff. And this thing pisses off people like nobody's business. It's crazy. And you can, can do work with it at medium range. Like, it'll work, but damn, it is not easy to use. Uh, next one is the quick scoper. Damn, right there. Primary, uh, we have a setup built for mobility, lightweight suppressor, tag laser, scout combat optic, the soccer scout, 
and focus because we don't want to have flinch ruin our aim um secondary m19 fast uh swap speed so we can finish people we get hit markers on and if we run out of ammo let's get that two tap headshot very convenient um this is a stealth setup so we have um ghost and tracker kind of keep us off the grid and it helps us give us a little advantage up close so we can follow people's footsteps and not have to run on our ears as much um, scavenger, because we're not going to be running ammo box on this, we're going to be running dead silence with this particular class. Scavenger will make sure we have lots of ammo and will complement the throwing knives. Throwing knives are a silent way to knock people out, and um, like if you're up close, it just gives you an easy way to knock out people who aren't paying attention to you. Decoy grenades just give you a nice little final piece to the puzzle. Uh, it's just a little control of the battlefield. You know how it is, right? Um, and if I wasn't clear, this doesn't really matter what you use as your, um, what is it called? I, Field upgrade, whatever they call it. Field upgrade. This one, you're gonna want dead silence. This one right here, and this one. These two. You're gonna want ammo box. These are true sniper class setups. This is lane control. This one's for 10v10s, 20v20s, um, or you know, true lane control on um, objective-based game modes. So, this setup right here, HDR Pro, Tech Laser, Variable, uh, Hunter Scout. That's for pure sniping. And then Focus, obviously, so you can win those gunfights when they're already shooting. Backup is the MP5 using Overkill. Uh, and this whole setup is about locking down an area. So, we get the Claymores, Heartbeat Sensor. Claymores, Shrapnel and Restock. You have plenty of Claymores. You throw them down at the entrances. Heartbeat Sensor. If the Claymore goes off, but you don't get a kill, you can use that to locate who it is. Use the MP5, hose them down. I don't have attachments on my secondary weapons because way too long so we're just gonna say build it however you want just make sure it's good for close range this last one is my personal favorite way to use this gun i think how it's best used and this is for ground war sniping this is maximizing its range bipod fmj ftech champion variable zoom and hdr pro fmj is a big thing because in ground war there's lots of vehicles and this will be able to tear them apart right tear them apart um, you're gonna go, oh, well, it's a long, it's, you know, I got stealth things here, but I'm not, it's not a suppressed weapon. Ground War, the mini-map dots don't mean anywhere near as much as actually, like, visually tracking snipers, because people look for you. So, we got cold-blooded, so those people hiding with the thermal scopes can't find you. High alert, so if you're targeted, you can quickly just drop. Like, if you see that pulse, you can prone and you'll be fine. Pop back up and keep looking around, and you'll either see them, or they'll look at you again and you can drop again. Tune up so you can get that ammo crate back faster. Big, big thing, because you're going to be doing a lot of shooting vehicles. You're going to be shooting down other snipers. This is a counter sniper, counter vehicle, big dick sniper setup. Claymores are just so you can lock down the entrances to whatever building you're camping on. Smoke grenades to uh, obscure yourself so you can get away. And then the Joker. Um, Joker's super good in ground war. You can clear off buildings like nobody's business. And if you're taking that circular tower and the city map... You can aim straight up the staircases, and you can fire it, and it'll clear the whole top part out. So, yeah, that's that. Let's get right into the gameplay. So we're going to Hackney Yard, free-for-all, um, bots, all that jazz. I'm using Hackney Yard for snipers because, again, you can't really test snipers on speedball. While it's loading in, I just want to comment, you know, if you enjoy the stuff. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Tell me what you want me to look at next. Um, feedback's been fantastic uh, so far. Really appreciate it. I mean, I'm over 50 subs, and I was stuck down in the depths for a long time, so I really do appreciate it. Let's get right into this. Break out the quick scope first. Handling's pretty solid for a sniper. You're on your own. And yeah, it's just kind of have this rhythm. Remember, you don't have big mag size, so you can't overextend, which I just did. Again, I'm not the best quick scoper or sniper, period. I don't. I have arms quick scope. I'm using the MK2 and just kind of cheesing with it. But you can see that bullet velocity is very nice. And your range realistically is going to be more than good. Uh, even though you have the negative range from the lightweight suppressor. It's not a massive debuff. You can see this thing handles itself about as well as any. Damn it. I actually should have switched the pistol there. You can tell I'm not really the most active. I'm great at setting up classes, but honestly, I'm not the best at uh, actually quick scoping. Specifically with this gun. Specifically against bots, because bots kills me a lot less. Like, in the standard gameplay, a little three-piece like that, that's good. But against bots, totally pointless. Also, bots move a little kind of erratically. 
We're not gonna try to quick scope anymore and hurt your eyes. But yeah, you know that's how it handles. We're gonna use this uh, lane control setup one. This is a great spot to post up so I can show this off. Let's see, we, oh, I'm not gonna use it. This is the deep zoom. Got a hit marker there. Not very common. I'm prone. We're fine. Where are you? All right. So you can see the stability on this is very nice. We already have ammo box going on. Hold your breath perfectly still. And we can get a lot of zoom and a lot of, like if someone's camping, like if someone is camping all the way down there, like way back in the, way back there, bam, clear sight picture. And like if you quick scope like this, man, when you zoom in, you are seeing nothing but torso. There we go. I don't wanna bore you to tears with sniping. Cause I'm boring myself to tears. Sniping is just, Man, it is not my cup of tea. What the frick is shooting me? Excuse me? Show yourself, please. You're in there. The, oh, gotcha. Come on. Oh, yeah. Too easy. How did that of all those shots miss? That was like the least missable shot there. I missed my C4. That's kind of descending to quick scoping, but against bots, lane control is kind of pointless. Let's break out this one. Uh, this is a bad spot to be. Don't mind me. I'll be running over here with my rocket launcher. Don't mind me. Mount over here. And we're just going to kind of survey the area. Oh, we have the Thimor on the stairs. Clearly. Take our shots wisely, over extend. Wish I could run bots again on ground war. And I can't run multiplayer ground war because my Wi-Fi is totally bored right now. So this is what I got. So yeah, it's just like it's a sniper. Got good stability. Good damage. Lots of one shots. And I'm I play too aggressive, but you really just do this. The crouch, bipod, kill people. There we go. And that's the whole gameplay loop. It's just this. And you know, if you find this fun, you go fucking crazy. I couldn't care less. And I'll do this on ground war. Like if I'm playing ground war, I will do this from time to time. Like I see the appeal. But man, if you're not playing ground war, why the hell are you just sitting in the back with a sniper? This is not, this is not Battlefield, son. That's not what this game is. Here, munitions box. Hey, look, we have the munitions back. And let's see what the recharge is. Why did that clone work at you? Oh, God. All right, well, we're not going to bore you to tears with that anymore. Um, that's about all I got for you today. That's the HDR. Um, so, yeah. Got any suggestions for guns you'd like me to look at next? Um, go crazy. I got a lot more of these on my channel, so you can go check that out. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Deuces.